Hello everyone, here we are in Spence's Bridge. I have an interesting story to tell you. I've been driving by this bus for quite a few years now and uh, just recently seen some action happening with it. So I decided uh, that I would come by and do a flyover of it, seeing how I know where a few of these buses exist in this province. So I just wanted to fly my drone over kind of discreetly, just get a quick uh, view of this bus. And then all of a sudden, as I'm not really paying attention, but if you look below there, there's a guy there. And I'm uh, lining up to get my front shot and everything else. And then all of a sudden, now I, I notice the guy, he's there. And I was kind of startled by it. So uh, I just kind of flew around really briefly. And uh, you'll see here that it's, it's not very good flying because I was nervous about him uh, being there and him, you know, seeing me flying over his property without permission. You notice he does give me a thumbs up and I kind of noticed that too. So I took the liberty of just flying around a little bit more and, and then uh, once I'm done the flight, I actually, I, I, I go in and, and say hello and introduce myself. And this is where the story gets really interesting. The gentleman there in the picture is uh, Wanderlei Saldanha. I hope I got that right, bud and his wife Elise <clears throat> and they're staying here on this property and they're getting this bus ready uh, to drive back to Brazil believe it or not. This is a very special bus actually uh, very historical in nature uh, it's a General Motors PD4501 and it happens to be 907 bus number 907 of 1001 ever built. So this bus has a very special place in his heart and many other people's hearts including mine and so uh, we're going to do a little bit of a documentation of this uh, bus and kind of try to help these guys along. I just learned something new today on how to kind of navigate through TikTok so they have a TikTok account and they're documenting everything there and uh, uh, kudos to TikTok because it makes translating uh, language barriers very easy. So you can go over to TikTok and give these guys a follow and uh, watch their videos and uh, TikTok actually translates uh, what's being said. So what uh, Saldanha was trying to explain to me is that they have a Volkswagen Kombi van that they drove up from Brazil all through the United States and they've been trying to sell it as they made their way back to Spence's Bridge to come and get this bus that uh, they had purchased over 50 or about 15 years ago in 2012. Okay, this is PD4501. Nine zero, what is it? One, yeah, nine zero seven PD four five zero one nine zero seven number nine zero seven. This is all very nice that this is all still in here. The mirror, oh my god, this is so good! Oh, so good. Ah, manual, yeah, nice. Five? Yeah, yeah, six? Yeah, six, 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 six feet, okay. The driver's area is very stock. Still got all the visor and stuff up here. Oh, the driver's light, wow. Wow. All the aisleways and stanchions are still here. Unbelievable. This is not what I was expecting. These are skylights. It's amazing that they're still here. The original bathroom, wow. There's the old school toilet, all made out of aluminum. The sink, wow, this is so cool. Really, really cool. Little medicine cabinet, napkin holder. This is so good. So here's all of the stuff from the shifter linkage down in there, all the linkages and the adjustments. Some of the heating, air conditioning, whatever. Wow, all the grills are still here. Okay, up into the second level, all the seats have been stripped out, which is normal. But they didn't take out the floors, which is good. 
all of the glass is in here except for that corner one, eh? Wow. Wow, you guys. I'm uh, look at all the skylights. So there'll be three more skylights in here. I'm just in awe of this bus. I've been driving by it for years. So there's inside the engine bay. And so according to the couple that I just met, it's kind of a weird story. I pull up here and I just wanted to fly my drone over the bus to document it and I'm lining up. I went in high and then, then I come down low and I'm lining up to the front of the bus and there's a guy right there at the driver's side. I didn't even notice it at first. And so I did a little fly around and then I came in and introduced myself. Apparently, uh, they're from Portugal. I'll translation, English, language barriers. Um, but I'll try to get linked up with all of their information. Um, I'm just gonna say his name is Dan, in short. Uh, he plans to drive it back to Brazil once he gets it running. And so I'm now here going to maybe give him a hand with a few things uh, as in another lifetime I used to be a bus mechanic so uh, I wanted to really acquire this bus but he's not gonna let it go this is his dream and so it's gonna go to Brazil so I'm more than happy to give him a hand with whatever I can and, and then be on my way Diesel, okay. No, no diesel. No diesel. It's nah. not going no. in. No, tire. It's plugged. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mass. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Okay. And so we got the baggage bay doors, the bottoms. That's very important. This bus is complete. Complete. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. He's got some new batteries in there. Good. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, well, what's your issues with this? She runs, runs good. So, all the oil bath, air breathers. Wow, man, it's complete. I didn't think this was gonna be this complete. So he says he's having some electrical issues with the charging and everything. So he figures the generators maybe could put on it. Uh, that's where he had it. Where's the generator? Generator. Generator. Oh, on top of the transmission. Yeah, that's yes. right. Oh, shit. Oh, man, it's been so long. No good. No it's good. It's no good, yeah. Pero ahora, alternate. Yeah, put one there. Este, fuera. Yeah. yeah. Este fue. Y alternate, yeah. ah, okay. Yeah, and then leave that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's usually what people do. Wow, okay. Wow, I can't believe how complete this thing is. This most complete bus in Canada, I would have to say. Wow. isn't working it's similar to this here we have it out on the bench all the radius rods look pretty good everything in here is good I cannot believe that so a little bit of mechanical issues with the reverse and some charging so it does the, the generator on here is toast and so he just wants to bypass it and go 12 volt on the back so he's got a bracket we could make it work, 
and get that going. Uh, but this transmission solenoid, he's already got it out, so I don't know uh, what it was like. Give him a hand here. I think he needs it rebuilt though. Because that's all wore out in there. This pin is all wore out inside here. And so he needs a rebuild on it or a new one. Okay. So he just finished telling me that this thing's been parked for 40 years. It says Greyhound Lines, Chicago, Illinois, ICC MC1515. I don't know what all the other stuff is, but yeah, there you go. So just a little bit more background story on the bus here. It was uh, brought up from Fort Myers, Florida in 1980. It was bought by uh, Soldana's friend there. Um, and he bought it off a band called Spectrum and uh, drove it all the way up here uh, to Spence's Bridge and parked it in 1980. And there it sat and never ran again until Saldena got a hold of it uh, just recently here and he's been getting it ready to go back to Brazil. Unfortunately, it was a little bit tough trying to communicate with the language barrier, them speaking Portuguese and me English. So we tried using uh, Google Translate, um, but it just becomes time consuming. So uh, we just kind of used sign language and figured out what was wrong with the bus. And so he explained it to me. Plus I had a good look at everything. It's in really good shape. So uh, I think he's got a really good base there. And once he fixes up a few things, it, it'll be roadworthy. So now I have uh, some other uh, video footage I took uh, the other day, which um, prompted me to come up here and, and fly over this bus as well. I discovered another one of these close to home, so we'll go into that footage now. So this is another GM PD 4501 um, near, near where I live. Uh, I was just driving by and it just caught my eye, just uh, out of the corner, it caught my eye. And uh, so I don't know anything about it. It's on private fence property in a storage compound. Um, but you can see the, the rear cap's been replaced on it. Uh, there's no longer the back window. All of the skylights have been covered up. The destination sign is missing along with a lot of the clearance lights. The headlights have been upgraded to the square headlights, which is not correct. The bumper's missing, um, it, it's missing a lot of stuff. It would be interesting to find out if it's still got its original power plant or not. You can see here on the roof that the skylights have been covered up, uh, that, that's pretty typical. So these buses were made between 1954 and 1956, and in 1961 they brought them back to uh, the Marmon Harrington Company, who retrofitted them with new 8V71 diesel engines. The Scenic Cruiser was powered by two Detroit 471 engines initially. They were paired together and they provided power through a fluid coupling. So after lots of service failures and downtime, they decided to bring the buses home and have them completely retrofitted. At that time, there was only 979 buses that made it back home in 1961. And today, uh, just doing a little bit of research, the first out of the first 200 serial numbers, there's still almost 60 of those buses left of the 979. So, um, you know, the numbers still seem like they're still pretty strong. These buses were built at a time when aviation was huge. So a lot of those design um, cues go into this coach. Here you can see the inside a little better. Um, it looks like the front was maybe a kitchen. It, it's it's full of stuff, so you can't really see what's in there. But it's also missing the trim below the the windshield and the wiper mechanisms. A lot, lot of work here. I don't have any information on this bus, so I don't know what year it is or what number it might be or or anything to that nature. Whether it runs, uh, what they're doing with it, if it's for sale. But personally, to me, it, it would make a really good parts bus for. Saldana's bus and uh, I know where there's another one at as well. I haven't seen it in probably 20 years so I'm not sure if it's still there but this would definitely make a good parts donor bus to to keep the other two alive. Uh, I, I don't know if these are the, the last remaining buses 
the last three ones in Western Canada or in Canada. I appreciate you guys sticking around anyways and geeking out with me on these uh, old uh, mammoths of the highway. Along with cars, I do like trucks and buses, so there will be a little bit of that here on the channel if you haven't noticed. So if you're interested in knowing more about uh, Saul Danha's bus, then uh, I'll leave some of the information, his contact information in the, in the description below. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this one. So make sure you go over and uh, give uh, Saldana some support and show him some love and uh, see what he's doing on his bus adventure. Thank you.